doesn't have a radio. So for now, what we've been doing is rocking the old Bluetooth speaker. That's no good, right buddy? So <laughs> we went on Amazon and we purchased a Boss Bluetooth amplifier and some speakers for about 200 bucks shipped. So we're gonna put it in and we're gonna check it out and see how it's right, so we mounted the speakers. Uh, it was kind of tricky because they're actually, they actually come to be mounted on a thicker tube stock than what the golf cart came with. So we had to get a little creative and I ended up putting uh, very small pieces of three quarter inch PVC to act as a spacer to make them mount securely. So uh, hopefully they don't fall. No, they're, they're very secure. Uh, we got to wire them up and we got to put in the head unit, which we're about to do. Uh, this is the head unit right here. And if, what I'm going to do is actually put it right in this piece right here, which you can easily cut with a razor blade. So I'm going to cut that out and I'm going to pop it in and I'm going to start wiring this all up. All right, so we got it completed. We've got the head unit in, put it right there in the front. You're able to turn it up, turn it down, get the last track, the other track, stream, the phone monitor right there, and the speakers. We sound decent. They don't have phenomenal bass, but I actually made some adjustments in my phone where uh, you go into sounds and hit the equalizer to uh, minimize the bass. So the amp itself was pretty easy to uh, install. Just had to make sure the ground was proper, but just mounted it there in the side of the golf cart and wired it all in. Ran the speakers through the posts here and the speaker wire, and then out the back here on the sides. So. Turned out pretty good and for under 200 bucks and a couple hours of your time, you have a much better system than a little Bluetooth speaker. So there you have it.